The rear fuel drum mounting brackets were made from bits of sheet styrene. Instead of using the kit's smaller fuel drums, I used a spare 156 scale fuel drum which was glued onto the brackets, with the additional detail being made from strips of foil tape. Once completed it was time to paint the model. The highlights were dry brushed over the top of the hole and the turret. White was mixed into the dark green paint mix to simulate faded paintwork. Then the green paint mix was dry brushed over the tracks, which was primed in brown spray primer. And once dried, the tracks were glued onto the model. The turret serial number was cut from the kit's decal sheet, with the numbering of this model tank being based on this image of an Angolan T-34. The numbers were applied with Microsol and Microset decal solution, forming the serial number 0233. With the decaling done, it was time to weather the tank. The 
weathering process started with the applying of Tamiya black panel wash into the recessed areas of the model. Once dried, ground earth tone chalk pastels were brushed over the model to give the model a dusty appearance, with decal setting solution being used to bond the pastel dust onto the model. And with the model made, I could turn my attention to making the diorama. For a while now, I've wanted to make a diorama with a model tank crossing a set of railroad tracks. So for this project, I decided to make my MPLA T-34 crossing a part of Angola's railroad network, racing south to deal with the South African forces. However, at the time when this model and video were made, no 156 scale railway tracks existed on the market. The only solution to this problem was scratch building my own segment of 156 scale railway tracks. Starting by cutting a length of 1mm sheet styrene 4cm in width. That was then cut to shape of the diorama base. Once the track bed was cut to shape, styrene strips were glued 8mm apart. These strips were also glued side by side to form a wooden railroad crossing. And finally, two strips of 2mm thick styrene I-beams were glued side by side to form the railway track. And once done, it was time to paint the railway track. To complete this model, I modified a few of the Rubicon models 156 scale Soviet tank crewmen into an Angolan tank crew. This also included the addition of an MPLA flag made from styrene sheet and rod and green stuff putty with the yellow five point star coming from the spare decal box. And with that done, the entire project was completed. Thank you for watching this video and good luck with all your ongoing projects. Here it is, the completed model.